so once again we will create one more example 13 underscore JSTL open the folder create a JSV file save it index dot JSP and in this example we are going to learn another JSTL tag CF to demonstrate this uh, tag just create some attribute here and on the basis of the values we will perform some test and we will show you how the JSTL tag CF works so let's start session dot set attribute attribute name is suppose uh, ABC and its value pair is suppose 120 then create a navigation link the link we just keep it simple to just demonstrate the example but later on we can use the these uh, tags more practically href the next page uh, suppose pqr.jsp let's create the next page pqr.jsp pqr.jsp save it in the same root application root and uh, first of all we will try to perform the decision making using the scriptlet and later on we will create the JSTL tag F so just create the scriptlet our first step will be session dot get attribute and the attribute name was ABC and the value pair was 120 120 is an integer value right so we'll create an integer variable suppose val and we need to typecast the value because the attribute value value returned by the get attribute is an object now now we will create another scriptlet and we are just writing the plain java code here into the scriptlet this is the opening curly bracket and to close the curly bracket we will create another scriptlet because in between we are going to write some html tag which is not a java code and here my test expression is very simple if value is less than 200 then display this tag h1 h1 close the tag h1 and write some value some value right so time to run the code 13 jstl 13 underscore JSTL this is the index page now click over the link and on the basis of decision showing the sum value let's change the value open the index.jsp page and suppose the value is uh, 240 so next time when you will click the link you will visit the abc.jsp page where the decision making statement is saying that uh, the value is not less than 200 because the value is right now 240 240 is not uh, is less than 200 fail so you won't be able to see the result some value let's try it again just click over the back button and shift refresh and we are just refreshing so that a fresh new request will be sent to the server and the server will send you a fresh new page just click over the link and you can see that and, uh, right now I'm not able to uh, show you the some value statement now we just want to perform the same operation using JSTL comment it using JSP comment just comment and now before using JSTL you know that we need to use some taglib directive don't forget to include that otherwise you won't be able to see the result prefix and URI prefix c and uri http colon slash slash java dot sun dot com slash jsp slash jstl slash core now we are ready uh, this is case one right uh, now just use some uh, html comment and write case one and one more comment case two now just use the tag JSTL tag create a closing tag and the most important thing is the test attribute so to use a JSTL tag if you must use an attribute naming uh, test and here goes the 
test expression dollar curly bracket open close and now what, what was the name of your attribute abc right abc and we, i'm just writing the same test expression we use in today's scriptlet abc is less than 120 and just create some html tag which will be displayed only when the test condition passes right now um okay some value you can write some plain text which will show you unconditionally before and after the test can huh? so just create h1 tag and some line decorator i'm creating here and just copy that and paste below the closing tag of cf tag so that you would be able to see the, the difference right and let's go to index.jsv page and specify some lower value so just write 80 and now the value will be resolved here 80 right 80 will be resolved here so 80 is less than 120 true just refresh the page back refresh index page now click over the link and you can see the result so the test condition passed and now i'm writing some value which is greater than 120 just write 140 and here the test condition will perform again 140 is less than 120 fail fail that means now you won't be able to see the result just refresh the index page first then click over the link huh? and now you can see the difference now in this example we simply shown you how the save tag works and what what is the reason behind using these JSTL? the core reason is we want to avoid writing java code inside the html